point guard. I'd like to play in that very no, 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 Regardless, if, if that person, you know I mean? according to our laws, even at the Which age of... According to this Canadian law, okay. if someone sleeps... Who cares about the Canadian law? Okay. Who cares about the Canadian law? Oh, listen, yeah. listen to me, Hashim. He claimed to follow the Look, you care about the if you sleep law? around with a nine-year-old, you're called a pedophile, Christ. according to our law. law is against Christ. How are you going to preach Christ? Listen, and you Hashim, by the if you sleep law, with a nine-year-old in this country, you're called a pedophile. Okay, but you know what? A nine-year-old is considered an adult. A Jewish puberty. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because... A woman becomes an adult when she attains puberty. Whether she's nine years old or ten years old, automatically when she attains puberty, right, she is now an adult. Now, to take it back to the example of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, right, what happened was um, she, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, I know, married Aisha when she was like, I believe, like seven. Six or seven, right? But he consumed the marriage when she attained puberty. So when he married, when the Prophet Muhammad married Aisha, that marriage was more of a promise, right? So, but that when started she at attained, six years old. yeah, it was a promise. That marriage was, it was a promise. It was consummated at nine years old. Uh, when she was, I believe. I'm not sure. This difficult. I know it's nine years old. This difficult opinion. Some people say eleven. Some people. Say nine, but whatever the age is, whatever, both children, whether, whether, nine or eleven, they're still whether, child. whether it's eleven or nine years old, right? At that time, uh, she became an adult. She was an adult automatically because she attained puberty. So when she attained puberty, whether it was at nine or eleven, that's when the Prophet Muhammad so, okay, him, so, 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 Hashim, married, so Hashim, right? you're gonna slap someone because they differ from you. They they think that's pedophilia. You don't think it's pedophilia, and you somehow thought it was right to slap a man yes. in his face. Yes. Because he did. Yes. yes. Because, so, okay, because so let me, okay, because, let me ask you, you know something. Why? Because you know why he's slapping in his face now? He's not going to go around and say, say, make that statement again. He'll never make that statement again. No, because he no, knows but, that but he listen, makes Hashim. that statement again. Hashim, you don't go around slapping slap. people. Oh, I'll do it again. If somebody is going to insult our prophet, in the name, in, in the name right? of who? Right? We'll slap. Is this, is this you doing it or is this Islam? No, it's Islam. To, if, to go if, around and slap people when they disagree with you? What? Slap. That's Islam? Slapping is nothing. Brother, brother. That's Some nothing? gets killed. When he I married her, I know you, no, no, wait a second. I know so you're telling me Islam gives you the license to go slap people because they disagree with you? No, no, no. Slapping is nothing. That's nothing. No. In other countries... So it's okay to slap right? people? In other countries... So you're telling me Islam okay, says it's okay to slap people? In other, in other countries, anybody who insults the Prophet Muhammad because your opponent gets killed. Okay, so, so it's... Slapping, so it's okay. Okay, so, if, is so if I go around, I want to preach my religion, I say that Muhammad's a false prophet according to my faith, I deserve death? Yes. My brother, listen, yes. Listen. So obviously it's you a big, big difference between Canada Muhammad, and that other country. In the Bible. So, 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 be, so, so that, basically, you are rejecting so basically Bible, when you come, when right? you come along, okay, so, so you're basically telling me that Islamic law tells me that if I preach something different from Islam, if I say that I don't believe in Muhammad as, as, a, as a true prophet, I believe he's a false prophet, yeah, you you're telling me Islam it, says you go it's okay to kill that, that person. Oh yeah, if you go to a Muslim country, there we go. So, okay, like hey, let, me, let me tell you something. The difference, I'll, I'll, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. The difference with your version of Islam, because, because hold on, hold on. Is, the, ver the difference with your version of Islam and it's not my version of Islam. What version? Right? Is it the Islam? It's the Islamic law. If you go around okay. preaching that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a prophet in the Muslim country, he get killed. Okay, so that, that's, that's right? right? That's right? That's Islamic that's law. Right? That's Islamic that's law. Right? But he can't talk to Kenya. No. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, let, me, let me finish what I was going to say. You don't talk to Kenya. You know why? Because why would you talk to Kenya? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, no, he's telling me. He can. Hold on, hold on. No, no, he can. Talk against who? Our own country. A belief? No. Or you as a person? In our own country, you can't talk against So you can't disagree with my belief? No, no, no. You can't talk against us in our own country. Against you or against your belief? It's like it's like coming to our own house and telling us to go out. So it's okay for you to come to a apparent Christian country and preach your religion? No, this is not a Christian country. It's not. So why do, then why do you make a distinction? We have the right to practice our own religion. Good, good. Yeah. So, so let, let me talking. tell you something. That's why he's talking. So let me tell you something. First of all, let me, let me say, there's a difference between...
between a difference between your version of Islam, which you say it's is not my okay, version. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. okay, let me finish what I'm saying. This is According to law. You the difference, go to a Muslim country and preach Christianity. The difference. Okay, okay, okay. What he did. Okay, fine. That's his character. Fine, 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 fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm mature enough to know. But the difference between. The, let me finish. The difference between what you say is Islam and according to the teachings of Jesus. Jesus told his disciples to go into the world, share the gospel. The gospel means good news. The good news is that God so loved the world and he's offering his mercy and forgiveness to everyone who wants to believe. For those who do not believe, it's okay. You don't have to force them. You don't have to kill them. And if they preach against you, you know what Jesus said? He said, if anyone curses you, bless them. If anyone if, you, if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn the other. Pray for those who per well, hold on. Pray for those who persecute. That's us too. That's us too. No, yeah, I tell you what. This is Christian. Go to Shura Toba, verse 29. Read that carefully. Yeah, that's Read us too. Let's say, same, same. Go same way. Go to Surah Al-Tawbah and verse 29. Read that carefully. It says kill every other religion. That's different interpretation. You take your own interpretation of that. If you follow Christian... That's different interpretation. You take your own interpretation of that. You're wrong, sir. Christian ethics is not to is not to establish this forced religion that if you preach against Christianity, it's okay to kill. But according to your final religion, it is okay to kill if someone says that it's wrong. Okay. According to you, okay. no, no. Even it's Jesus not. preached killing. Did you know that? If you read Don't Luke, use Luke chapter 4, 17 as a parable. No, 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 I'm not. I'm He's not, not done. We let, let you talk. Let, let him talk. Let, let me talk. Okay. Let him talk. Even Jesus himself preached jihad. Even Jesus himself preached killing. There's a okay. Bible. Go ahead. And I think it's in Luke 19, verse 27. Go ahead. When Jesus says, bring my enemies in front of me. Open the scripture for everyone to see that it's a parable. It's not just a parable. Please open it. Read the chapter. No, no. I gave him the Bible to open it. Okay. Luke 19, 27. No, no, I want Luke 19, verse 27. Find it, find it out Luke for him. Luke 19, verse 27. Find it out for him. Jesus sir. preached jihad and he preached killing. We don't, we don't believe in that, killing and stuff. We don't, we don't no, I'm just trying to prove to you that Jesus was not bad all Muslims about good Muslims. He was also about uh, war and fighting. All right? That's not his Even, point. You know what I mean? That's not his point. You have to address his his question yeah, and what he's trying to say. Okay. What, my brother, what you tried, what you said yeah. is right, and we as Muslims I know believe it. that okay. too. Look what, what it he, says. Jesus says, but bring wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Both. Does it say Jesus said? It's, Did it say Jesus said? It's Jesus, okay? Says, what do you think, right? But here? bring here those enemies of mine who did not want to reign over them and slay them. What does it say in me. verse 11, slay my friend? Them. Okay. Read verse so 11. Read, read you. verse 11. Yeah, Jesus if you want to be fair, read okay. proper okay. test fear. Read verse 11. Can I make a comment? What's the point of me? Reading? What's the point? Can I make a It's not even. It's not even okay. Jesus. Okay. We're going out of context. No, no, we're not going. Let's. No, no. Let's clear it up. No, we're not going out of context. He also preached killing. Hold on. Let me let me just answer his his apparent. You threw something on the Jesus he claimed to love, which is not accurate. Okay, so let me let me clear this. We know firsthand we're Muslims. I think you're addressing one Muslim. When I'm seeing crowds and crowds. The majority of the Muslims here, do they agree with what this Muslim who says that this is Islamic law to kill anyone who, if I believe that Muhammad was not a prophet, and I say publicly that Muhammad was a, a false prophet according to my belief, according to Islamic law. Hold on. According to, hold on. Let me say what I gotta say. Let me say what I gotta say. You have to keep your mouth shut. Let me say what I gotta say. You cannot go around and preach in Let me say what I gotta say. According to, if I were to believe as a Christian, because here's here's the case. I have a Christian book that tells me that Jesus died on the cross. That tells me that God loves me. That tells me that I can be forgiven by God if I accept the message of Jesus Christ. This is what it says in my Injil. Right. I have 600, and it also says that Jesus is the Son of God. Not that God had a baby in the literal sense, but that. This is what the 
Waking up. We respect your Hold on, let me finish. We respect your belief. Let me finish. What the angel says is that God can make his love known to us. He can express his holiness to us. He can make his he can make his mercy known to us. And he does that through Jesus Christ perfectly. This is my belief, what it says in the English. Hold on, I don't need the, 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 the two cents there. So we have now a belief that Christians have, have believed for over 2,000 years. We have someone come along 600 years after that says everything, the most important thing for a Christian is to believe that Jesus died on the cross and that Jesus was the Son of God. This is the, for a Christian. Now you have someone who comes along 600 years later, basically says everything you Christians believe is a lie. Jesus did not die on a cross. Jesus is not the Son of God. Your Bible is corrupted. Everything, basically, Christianity that you guys claim to have is a stupid religion. Hold on. We didn't say that. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. That, I think you're thinking something different. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that you have a religion and a prophet that comes along discrediting everything that Christians believe dear and true. Basically, you're saying that my belief will send me to hell because I'm committing shirk. Basically, you say that if I believe Jesus is the Son of God, that he died on the cross, I'm incorrect. It's false. This is a corruption. So basically, you're calling my book a lie. You're saying that whatever. You, you, no, no, no. you don't say it with words, but you're saying that basically when you come out the we Quran, believe it. This is, no. Hold on. Let's be honest here. You don't have okay, to say it. I agree. You just said what I just said. My Bible says yours is right. So you come along basically saying what I got is basically corrupted, tampered with. My beliefs are false. You have to believe Islam. Now, you come along and preach that. I'm not killing you because you preach that. I'm not saying that you can believe that this Bible is false all you want. That's fine. I'm not going to have this is a Christian law that says I must kill you because of that. Now, we have this gentleman here who says Islamic law says if I now as a Christian would come along and say based on my belief Muhammad what he said Jesus never died on a cross he wasn't the son of God I can't accept that he's a false prophet according to my belief he's wrong the Quran is wrong according to my belief I believe in the Bible if I were to preach that and tell people you know you need to believe in Jesus you need to believe in the Bible in an Islamic law I deserve to be killed I deserve to no. Be imprisoned or whatever. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Oh. Where are you That's right. Let me explain. Let me explain. No, no, no. Let me explain. Make us look bad. We don't say that. No, no, no. He's just bad. Let me explain. 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 Let me the Unitarian, the Unitarian Christians, right? Everything that they believe is contradiction of what you believe. The Unitarian Christians, right? They used to live in the north of Africa. This is like Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, you know, Mauritania, right? They were all Unitarian Christians. The Unitarian Christians, they did not believe that Jesus died on the cross. They 